Swinton Technologies ST50X range of pulse simulators. These units have been specifically developed to allow testing and calibration of flow computers used in fiscal and custody transfer flow measurement systems. The range comprises three models, ST500 Dual Pulse Simulator, ST501 Densitometer Simulator and the ST502i Multimode Pulse Simulator. The ST502i includes the same facilities as the ST500 and ST501, which allows simulation of turbine meters and densitometers. In addition, it may be used to simulate gas turbines and provers, both normal, unidirectional, bidirectional and compact. In this short demo we will concentrate on the ST502i. Let's connect the ST502i to a scope and generate some signals. Channel 1 A and B are configured as DV and are shown on trace 1 yellow and trace 2 blue of the scope. Turn pulses onto continuous. Here we see the typical 90 degree phase shift between the signals. We've also got channels 2 A and B in IP, that's current pedestal mode, and connected to scope trace 3 violet and trace 4 green. If we turn on the 24 volt supply to these and start the batch again, we see the expected signal with the trace moving between 4 milliamps and 16 milliamps. Each channel may be independently set to DV or IP mode. Now let's change the frequency. OK, and now the phase shift which allows 0, 45, 90, 135 and 180 degrees. Let's do some fails. First the A line, then B, then back to normal. Then drop 1 in 10 A pulses. Then 1 in 10 A and B pulses. And back to normal. Let's start up a batch now. Frequency 1000 Hz and 100,000 pulses. Press start and up the count scope and also get registered on the timer counter. At power up the screen shows the current mode and then allows the user to select a different startup mode. Follow the instructions on the display to choose the desired mode. There is a menu-driven display structure, which allows navigation through various displays. Variables may be entered and choices made with a minimum of key presses. After power-up, the various display screens can be easily navigated by single-button key presses, with options shown at the bottom of the screens. Uppercase options, e.g. for batch, will take you to a new display. Lowercase options, e.g. three pulse off, make selections. In this case, turning off the pulse stream. Or allow number entry, e.g. 1 change hertz invites a new pulse frequency to be entered. Each channel outputs are by 4mm sockets, providing easy and flexible connection in most panel environments. The DVIP switch allows each channel to be configured as complementary differential voltage or current pedestal. The upper red-green LEDs flash to confirm outputs, and the lower blue LEDs show use in IP mode. The USB socket allows connection to a PC for display and control. An external mains PSU has adapters to suit most worldwide outlets. Unique to the ST502i is the possibility of connection via the USB link to a PC running STView. This allows all of the ST502i functions to be displayed and controlled from a PC. Some extra facilities are also available, such as setting up batch profiles to represent the startup, normal flow and top-off changes in rate associated with a typical tanker loading operation. The leads could be considered trivial, but we think the right lead set makes connection so much easier. The included accessory kit covers all of the expected needs for connection to the typical panel to allow testing but minimise disruption to the wiring. The adapter kit is normally only needed for prover simulation and conditions some of the outputs to suit the expected panel connections, e.g. simulation of isolated sphere or piston detectors. If you have trouble with your particular installation, let us know what the problem is and we will help you resolve it.
The lead set has been designed to make it easy to connect to the panel. Our design aim was to minimise the changes needed to be made to the panel wiring to allow connection of the test equipment. In most cases, this is probably confined to opening the terminal knives and inserting the 2mm adapter plugs. Being battery powered also simplifies use where mains is not available. And finally, if you've already got an ST500 dual pulse simulator or ST501 densitometer simulator, we offer an upgrade service to convert to a full function ST502i multi-mode pulse simulator. For more information, contact Swinton Technology.